Hey guys, Alex Cyclus here with a update to the, uh, we'll call it second ride impressions of the 2022 Scott Spark RC Comp. So again, you're getting a bike that has a carbon frame, same frame as the uh, World Cup. Um, the SL has a slightly different frame, which is the HMX carbon. Um, but this is the same frame that you're getting on all the RC 120 bikes. Uh, it does have a base stock Fox 32 Fox rhythm on it, obviously controlled here by the twin lock. As you know, if you're looking at this bike, the shock is integrated, obviously, in the uh, C-tube and uh, down tube uh, junction. <clears throat> the bike, I feel, is probably one of the best values that you can buy. This bike retails for $4,200, and I, I couldn't ask for more bike. You know, yeah, it has some base SRAM NX group set. On it, but it's very durable. It's very tough. The engagement and the shifter is very firm. Uh, can't tell much of a difference from my XX1 that I had in terms of the engagement. You know, this, maybe the click's not as loud, but uh, it definitely feels like the engagement is is, is pretty uh, is pretty good here. The cassette, which is a 1050, is uh, basically a boat anchor, but very durable. Right? It's not fully pinned like the GX. Right, the GX, I was popping pins out when I had it on my Scott, I'm uh, sorry, with my uh, my Specialized Epic, my 2019. So this one uh, is just pinned in the in the rear with the last, I think, two or three cogs. Um, but yeah, I mean, listen, you know, you're looking at a, a pretty complete package here. I would definitely recommend this bike if you're looking to uh, just kind of go out and have some fun, have a full, uh, a f fully capable machine here to uh, to ride aggressively on a, on a trail system that, you know, is relative to your area. Right now I'm in quiet waters which is in Deerfield Beach, Florida, which is basically has like a little 10-mile uh, bike park that they built into it. Absolutely gorgeous place. I mean, all the turns have built up berms with pavers or, or concrete lattice or wood. Uh, you can see, I'll, uh, you won't see it now, but uh, that's the backside of a massive wall of, of uh, a wooden berm. So uh, yeah, this place is fantastic. So if you get a chance to uh, come over here, definitely take a uh, trip here. So anyway, back to the spark. So I did build this out of the box. Um, I put most of it together. So the headset, obviously, you know, if you're looking at this bike, you know a little bit about it already. It's integrated, uh, which is pretty clean. Yeah, you got some cables here, but it's not a big rat's nest. Uh, it's, it's kind of tidier. Um, I know that the Fraser one piece bar has a little bit more integration and in it. it makes it look a little bit better. Uh, I can't speak enough about this Fox 32 rhythm. I mean, it's a base fork just with a regular grip damper, but it is super plush. Uh, super firm yeah it's it's heavy as hell but I mean it is really nice it is really really nice for for uh, for a stock Fox I mean it's way better than some of the uh, SIDS that I've ridden so I'm really impressed with this uh, this heavy but functional uh, Fox 32 here and uh, these rims again nothing fancy they're just rebranded Alex rims with a synchro sticker on them uh, I believe they're 30 mil wide uh, set up tubeless ready spokes are J-Bend just I think these are formula hubs. Nothing crazy here. It's got Shimano Dior brakes. And let me tell you something. You know, I haven't ridden Shimano in a while. Uh, I was on my specialized stump jumper. I had uh, XTRs. And I'll tell you what, Shimano brakes are fantastic, even in the Dior. I mean, they are just really nice engagement. Yeah, maybe not as much modulation as SRAM's level brakes, but I don't know. I just, there's something special about Shimano brakes. It's probably why they spec most of their bikes with Shimano brakes. Uh, even though that they went with a SRAM group set. So I uh, have some, some whiskey side load cages here. Now you can only get maybe about a 20 to 21 ounce bottle here on the C-tube. So a little limited there. I have to pick one up for Florida. This is my vacation home bike. I have to hit up Mark and Park in quiet waters. And uh, nothing crazy here. You just got a SRAM NX crank set, 175 millimeters in size medium. Again, SRAM 10, 50 cassette again this is the boat anchor here wheels are heavy too they're about 1900 grams um, so that's something that I may consider upgrading to a pair of regular roll valve wheels with the SL carbon hoops with the 350 DT hubs so that's something that's on my radar here those are like retail for like 1200 bucks uh, SRAM NX rear derailleur again boat anchor functional works fantastically engagement is crisp uh, very durable so when you smash this thing you don't have to worry about getting it replaced you know, like you would do with the, with the fancy carbon uh, and the carbon cage uh, arms here. And uh, I'm just really impressed with this bike. You know, um, it, 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 it pedals like a cross-country bike. 
it feels like a trail bike in between your legs, right? So it feels hefty and clunky in terms of the feel, but it accelerates pretty rapidly comparing to some other XC bikes that I've ridden. I've had another Scott Spark. So I would say that definitely feels way more capable. It feels a little heavier between the legs. Again, this is a very heavy build here, so I'm not gonna compare this to my S-Works Epic by any means. Uh, but what I do know is that the Epic uh, feels light and slender between the legs because it is a lot thinner, right? This is a very chunky bike. You know, even looking over from this way, it's just a big hunk of chunk. <laughs> but a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I mean, listen, if I'm racing personally, I'd want to be on my Epic. Um, but if I'm going out there looking to have fun, this is the bike to do it. It is not the specialized Epic. I'm, again, I'm not comparing it to the Epic Evo. That's a little bit more playful, uh, a little bit more comparable to this. I have the brain version. Um, but, you know, if I was interested in getting this bike, I would definitely want to get to know the twin lock a little bit better because it is probably the key component to make this an efficient machine. I wouldn't say it's very efficient in its open mode. It feels like a trail bike. It feels kind of like my Stump Jumper. Uh, a little snappier, a little springier, right? Not as plush, um, but it, it still has that, that deep bob uh, when, you are, when you are pedaling. So that middle mode, right? When you put it in the middle mode, it does firm up the rear. Now, this does not have the... Um, Fox Nude. It has just a regular Fox Evol shock uh, specific to Scott. So it does firm it up, but you still have 120 millimeters where on the Nude shock, whether it's the Fox version or whether it's the Rock shock version, you are getting a 80 millimeter uh, restriction and it does sit higher in its stroke. So I can't really compare uh, really fully uh, what I feel about the Scott because again, I don't have quite the same uh, middle mode. Uh, but in the open mode, it's very plush. And in the locked up mode, you know, it's very efficient. You know, it's, it's got a little bit of give. So it takes some of that, that bobbing up and down when you're pedaling on a fire road or, or um, on pavement. So it does have a little bit of give, which is nice. But, you know, if you really get to know the twin lock, I would say this is probably just as fast, if not most faster than most bikes, because it's more capable going down, right? If you can really get used to playing with this twin lock, you know, and make it into more of an e efficient race ride, you definitely have yourself something unique here and i would i would highly recommend you know this bike to anybody again would i get rid of it for my s works probably not uh but it definitely is a serious contender and as i get to know it more here when i come down to south florida uh i wouldn't you know it wouldn't surprise me if i, I tend to want to maybe gravitate towards something like this uh back home in new jersey just because it is more comfortable to ride and it's more fun uh so that's, that's pretty basically all i have to say about it um, you know, I will get some more ride time on it in December. I will come back with a, another review uh, when I take it to Markham Park, which is a little bit uh, more gnarlier than uh, the quiet waters here. But they did a phenomenal, phenomenal job with the trail up, upkeep here. I mean, it is really, really top notch. So uh, that's basically bringing it to an end here. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I urge you to please hit that like and subscribe button so you can follow along with the channel with my other bikes uh, and gear reviews. So thank you so much. Be well.